Hello, and welcome back. So, I'm back from my, my vacation. Yeah, five days away. Uh, recharge my batteries. Clear my head. Think about uh, nothing but uh, everything at the same time. So, I came to... Um, I was up in the uh, White Pass area, um, Packwood, and then I was in Centralia, um, Chehalis area, and then I was in uh, Bellingham, and then I came back down to uh, Centralia um, area again. So, a very interesting uh, week, you know, five days, uh, but uh, I got to golf a lot. Got golf uh, in a in a, um, a tournament that I play in uh, every year for charity. I did pretty good. I have done better. I ended up uh, tying for second out of 123 golfers. I ended up uh, tying for second. I was four strokes off of uh, winning it outright. That pretty good. I got a lot of uh, prizes. Um, and uh, I want some cash, but I got this cool lava lamp behind me too. But it was uh, wasn't really for the uh, the cash or the prizes, you know, that uh, I plan it. I help raise a lot of money for a nonprofit organization that uh, does a lot for um, youth in America. They have a scholarship uh, for. Those uh, for children who are, so they have to sign up before they're 18, to, before they go to college, and then uh, it awards uh, them uh, based on merit and uh, their actual degree, field degree, or their trade that they go into. So it's it's for both, and I play for it mainly because I you know I want to support the the charity itself, but I end up donating, you know all the cash that I went back, you know, to that, but that's yeah, just who I am. Most people don't do that, but I play it to challenge myself. So it, it was a, it was a good tournament. I got to see a lot of people that, um, I normally only get to see once or twice a year at the other functions that this, uh, group, you know, non-profit or group that I, I belong to, um, when we have events. I got to uh, stop off in uh, Federal Way, and I was able to uh, meet up with, see, there was four um, YouTube subscribers and two Patreon supporters uh, the first night, so six total, um, and we sat around, had, uh, we had dinner, and then we had uh, a couple cocktails, and then I, you know, I left, and I went back to my hotel in the uh, well holiday in I guess it's a hotel it's not a motel so and then um, the next night Friday I got to meet a, a couple more um, YouTube subscribers three total I got a couple but uh, I got to meet them and that was in Packwood Washington so um, it was nice, nice to meet them. And we uh, we had lunch at I can't remember the name of the restaurant there in Packwood that we ate lunch at. It's a kind of like microbrew pub thick place. Not really my kind of place, but you know, it was uh, still nice to meet uh, you know and uh, sit and talk with people, you know, and, and learn what they like about my uh, content and what they don't like um, hear their opinion on where they think that I should uh, spend more of my time now it's uh, it was very interesting in, in that regard to uh, listen to and get feedback directly from uh, subscribers and supporters of my my channel and overwhelmingly uh, you know the takeaway is a lot of my supporters um, and subscribers are really shocked that I would have a Patreon 
where I would allow uh, people to do a minimum of a dollar. Um, but, you know, it, 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 I wanted to make it open to as many people as possible. I made mean, that tier. There's tiers in, on Patreon in case you're not aware of it. But, you know, you depend upon your uh, patronage. There's it. You fall into a tier. And the, the lowest tier, the dollar to four dollar tier, is sold out. But you know, and that just tells you how many people are supporting me for a dollar or six cents a, a day or whatever. But they, they were surprised, really surprised that they if I had that. They uh, oh, next the thing that was an uh, overwhelming uh, message that I got from those who I, I got to sit and meet and talk with was. Uh, they want me to uh, try to you know, keep on avoiding the negative aspects of uh, what's going on between this channel over here and me on my channel. Even though these people are trying to destroy me and destroy my friends, they don't want to see me you know, make video content and talk about that. And, and I, I agree with them, but at some point we do have to fight back as a group. You know, of you know, and that, you know, all of us together, we have to fight back against that because they are doing everything they can to destroy, hurt us, and um, and I know um, in in some aspects I haven't uh, spoken about it, so you did, you don't know the entire story about it, but they've done everything in, in brief. They've done everything from file bogus copyright claims against us. Uh, had us uh, remove uh, content because they said that they own copyrighted material within it. And in a couple of cases, they have sent uh, bogus, uh, um, well, not really bogus, but uh, demands that we pay them uh, through either PayPal, um, iTunes, or uh, Bitcoin to uh, well, make them go away. Basically, extort, trying to extort the actual cash from us, and every single one of them has not just not just the ones that have been sent to me, but to other creators. There's one of them. So when I say to us, every one of them has all been in the name of this individual over here. They're like, do it for this person. We're giving the money to this person, and I don't. We don't know if. Uh, they're directed, um, being directed by that individual. And that's not really any of our worries at this point because we have been notified by YouTube. Um, and YouTube is now going to sue and take to court and receive compensation because they've, they've been able to prove they're going against a um, one troll and who had 15 different bogus accounts who was doing basically the same thing. And uh, YouTube is now going to put their mouth where they're, they should have been. And they're going to uh, start backing up some of their own policies. And they've already filed uh, against one troll. So, you know, maybe there's hope that they will actually um, take care of this, you know, this issue, um, especially the extortion part of it, which is disheartening, you know, to say the least. Uh, the other thing I learned from the meet and greets with uh, my fans and supporters is that they want to uh, see me do more videos um, that are shorter in length. Um, I'll still offer the same research and uh, still keep on doing the same content, but they want to see me do, you know, at, least, at least find another series that I can do uh, that is in the five to uh, seven minute range total. Because I, you know, I'm, I'm moving the two series that I have um, over to my other channel, and uh, they want to see me uh, uh -huh. put more content into in time into the uh, my other channel, Will Star. So, but overall, the message was positive from those that I was able to meet and sit and talk with. Um, vacation was uh, relaxing. I was able to do stop in and visit the um, a couple family members of a crime victim, and 
they're a little disheartening that uh, it's been going on a year now um, since I talked to them before and I still haven't put up a, a video about uh, their loved one who was murdered. I'm working on it and I told them, you know, as I told them, I'm a one man show. I can't, uh, you know, research and put these videos out, you know, factually overnight. And sometimes it takes time. I had to wait for court cases and stuff like that to get finished up so I could get the transcripts of, of uh, the actual court case to be able to factually support what was being said in the media. So it takes time sometimes to do these cases. Um, I, I didn't enjoy the uh, drive. It's never a, a nice drive. Um, altogether, each direction was about 1,240-ish miles. It went like this across the state, all the way back up, down the state, back up and around, and then up, and then back down, like that. If you look at the state of Washington, that's how I traveled, all the way across the state, lengthwise, up along the coast to Bellingham, which is all the way up by the Canadian border, back down, and then up into the mountains to, you know, Packwood, from Packwood, and back. Yeah, a lot of driving. So, it was, uh, overall, I mean, a, a good, good vacation. You know, I, I definitely have. Uh, enjoyed uh, my time, um, especially with friends, and uh, seeing people that, that uh, support this gives me hope for the, for the future. Um, oh, that's about it. Um, I'm back home. Next time you, you see me, it'll be uh, sometime probably Wednesday of uh, this coming week and what I normally do because I normally take off Tuesday I'm hoping to have this video up um, and uploaded by uh, Monday but I can't say for sure because uh, I have a lot of things I have to do I have to unpack and you know, get ready to uh, do my normal routine you know, and then get back in here to the studio go out to work my normal job be my family None of them are home yet. They're, they're still on vacation themselves. They'll be coming into town here probably about uh, another four hours. So, I miss my little little man. You know what it's like if you're a parent spending five days away from a child that you know. So, hi everyone. Thank you again for uh, putting up the fact that I wasn't here for the last five days. Stay safe out there. Till next time. Is it a salt if he throws ice at me? <laughs> Get over the trees, and if you get over the ditch, then you're on the road, you're on the road. You can. You gonna try it, Bill? You gonna go through the trees? Excuse me while I point this at you, Bill. <laughs> is the thing working? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Say hello, Tim. I'm going to slap you. Out.
Jim saw already threatened me with violence. <laughs> and we just started the day. Say hello to Ron. Alright, Ron's a man of a lot of words. He's gonna kill us. <laughs> Stop not! If you're not cursing, you're not golfing. Do you see the subscribe button? Is it red? If it is, why don't you go ahead and click on it? Subscribe. Join the community. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I put up a new video.